avoid methods versus value returning methods. So avoid method simply performs a task and terminates. For example, system.out.println hello world. It just prints out hello world and it's done. It doesn't do anything else. Whereas a value returning method performs a task and then also returns or sends a value back to the code where it was called. For example, the math.pow method, it returns 2 to the third power. Whatever that answer is, it will return it back and allow you to assign it to an integer called answer. So let's write an example of a void method and a value returning method. First I'm going to create a method called add. Public static void add. And it's going to take two numbers, int x and int y. And these are the parameters, x and y. And I'm going to simply print out the x plus y. So now to call that method I could simply say add 2 comma 5 and that's going to send 2 to x and 5 to y then it's going to add up x and y and print out 7 on the screen. So this is a void method. It does not return any value back to the main method or wherever I'm calling the method. What if I wanted to be able to return the sum rather than printing it out here? Let's say I wanted to print it out in the main method instead. But what I'm going to do is comment this out and rewrite this as a value returning method by simply saying public static int instead of void add int x comma int y. And inside here rather than printing out x and y I'm going to simply say return x plus y. And now here this add method is not going to do anything. It's going to, it's because the add method is not printing out anything, so calling it makes it appear that nothing happened. But in reality, this is actually getting the value of 2 plus 5, but it's not doing anything with it. So I could either print this out by saying line and stick my method call to that add method directly in my print line statement, and now it'll print out 7. Or I could have simply done int answer is the value of add 4 comma 8. And I could stick answer in here in my print line statement. And it'll give me the sum of 4 plus 8 is 12. And we know that add must be a value returning method otherwise you wouldn't be able to assign it to a variable. And we also know that based on the way that this method is being called that add returns an integer because answers data type is an integer and we wouldn't be able to set it to the return type of this add method if it didn't return an integer. So this is the difference between a value returning method that ret has a return statement at the bottom of the method versus a void method which doesn't return anything there's no return statement it just does a task and it's done Whereas a value returning method does a task and then returns something back. And you can only have one return type. And it can be any data type that you want. If I was returning double, I would change int to double and so on.